See, now some people enjoy long walks on the beach. I enjoy long walks in the grocery aisle. I'm, I, I don't know what it is about the grocery store, but I just enjoy it. Anyway, here is just a mini haul of some of the items that I picked up for the week. I will be using a majority of these items in my recipes that you'll see in this video. So I think it's going to be great for you to actually see not only what I purchased, but how I use them in my recipes. Um, just a good mix of items. So I got some fresh vegetables. I also got some fresh fruit. I got some vegan Parmesan, some veggie broth, which I mean, I could make that on my own, but I didn't feel like it. I also picked up some broccoli sprouts and some cherries those cherries get them if you see them I got more brahmi beans because I love those and it's a great source of protein I also picked up some fresh herbs so the basil as well as the rosemary and some bay leaves I also got some garlic because I'm planning to make like this roasted red pepper and garlic pasta which you'll see in the video as well and I picked up some snacks now I got this lesser evil like plant-based vegan spice ball sorry it's upside down I don't know if these are my favorite however this popcorn this popcorn was it's off the chain so if you see it get it it's really delicious I also got some vegan butter for some pasta that I plan to make as well as a few other things as well some olive oil more vegan parmesan because you can never have enough now this plant-based yogurt, I'm a Kite Hill fan, but this yogurt was not my favorite. So just because you see it in here, I'm not necessarily saying go buy it. I think I show later in this video another version of some yogurt that I would recommend and that I typically use often. But here's everything that I picked up. This Harissa veggie bowl, this was so good. I used some of the items that you saw in the grocery haul. So I used some red onion as well as that broccolini. I also had some canned chickpeas that I wanted to cook up. And this would honestly be considered a sheet pan meal. I mean, aside from the fact that I do cook some quinoa on the stove, but I just take everything that I plan to enjoy, which is the chickpeas, the broccolini, as well as the red onion, and I just season it up really good. So you saw me add some salt and black pepper. I also added down some harissa sauce. If you never cooked with harissa sauce, I would recommend it. I believe I purchased that little jar from Whole Foods, so you can find it there. But I just season those vegetables up with smoked paprika, cumin, and I drizzle on some agave. That little sauce mix or seasoning mix, yeah. It's where it's at. So I would highly recommend you give that a try. Here's the quinoa and I like to cook my quinoa in vegetable broth. I don't know if you're a quinoa fan or not, but if you are and you haven't tried vegetable broth, please, because it's delicious. Now here I'm just making like this little yogurt sauce to drizzle on top of the bowl. I use that yogurt that I showed you from the grocery haul and this is when I realized sis this might not be your favorite so I did go ahead and use it because I made the sauce and I didn't have anything else at the time but I just took the yogurt added in that fresh parsley added in some lemon juice some salt pepper and then I went in with some cayenne pepper to just give it a little bit of a kick and when the veggies were finished I just added them on top of the quinoa and drizzled on that yogurt sauce this was really good. I was making a smoothie and realized I didn't even hit record. Anyway, here's everything that we have. So <laughs> I have some frozen mango down here. I also added water. I have frozen kale, some spinach. I added in some chia seeds as well as a date. I'm so sad that it didn't capture everything. But anyway, I'm adding some flax seeds in here. And to help it be like creamy and smooth, I'm gonna add just like two scoops of vegan yogurt or dairy-free yogurt. This is the brand of dairy-free yogurt that I'm using today. I wanted to add half of a banana. There we go, one banana. Y 
Y'all tell me why I forgot to put this in here. This helps it blend. This is needed. It's the blade. Chow, honey chow. <laughs> I'm about to pour it in the bowl. I'm about to pour it in the bowl and then pour it back over. I'm so used to my other blender because it doesn't require one of these. Dang it. So unfortunate, but we move. We're good now. I'm gonna add some ice in here. The only thing I would probably change is add maybe one more date. I mean, it's a green smoothie, y'all. Like, y'all know how green smoothies go. They taste very green. It is time for dinner. It's super late, don't look at the time, but I need to eat because I didn't eat a bunch today. I didn't eat a good amount today, pretty much let's say that. I did a little dance class. Sir wants to play so bad. I did a little dance class and then I walked a bit. So I've like had some movement, but I need to get some food in my system. So what I'm gonna do is like a quick and easy, like, boy, you good? Go get some water. Go get some water. Go. Good boy. Um, get some water. <laughs> anyway, why are you looking at me? I didn't call you over here. What you want? Anyway, okay, sorry. I'm gonna do like a little mini jambalaya for one. This is just the impossible sausage. just a little bit more tomato paste. seasoning mm -hmm. now one thing I love doing is making flavored plant milk so I'm making a batch of blueberry and lavender plant milk delicious this time around I made it with oats next time I am definitely gonna make it with cashews because it'll be a bit more creamy now this was delicious don't get me wrong I used it in my matcha as well as muffins but I definitely believe that cashews are superior to oats when it comes to plant milk I said it yep don't fight me but it is what it is if you decide to make this in the morning you can just let it sit in the fridge for maybe about an hour um, I guess the longer that you do it, the more of that lavender flavor the milk will have, which, I mean, who doesn't want that? You're making lavender, blueberry, oat milk. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna let it in the fridge, and then tomorrow I may have oatmeal for breakfast, and I'll use it in my oatmeal, which I know is gonna be delicious. Now, on the subject of delicious, this 
air fried okra and peppers come on get into it i think that if you don't like okra it's because you had it and maybe it was not prepared in the best way that it should have been however when you have it like this it it changes your life i like to use okra as well as sweet peppers mini sweet peppers and then i just season it up really good with onion powder garlic powder smoked paprika dried parsley you can't forget the salt and pepper i add in a bit of coconut sugar just for like a little hint of sweetness y'all off the chain and then you just air fry it now if you want i think you could also coat these with cornstarch or maybe a bit of flour and just like lightly fry them on the stove and it would still be delicious Now this last recipe is a roasted red pepper pasta y'all i made this one night using some can i mean excuse me some jarred Roasted red bell peppers. Roasted red, oh my gosh, try to say that fast. Roasted red bell peppers. And I just thought that the color was one, so beautiful, but then once I tasted it, it was also really good. Now, I know that some people look for recipes where like, hey, how can I sneak in veggies? I think this would be a good one. Like if you wanted to cook up some zucchini as well and add that in there. But this was an easy one. You can either use fresh red bell peppers or the ones from the jar. Listen, I've made this pasta using both the jarred red bell peppers as well as fresh, and they are both delicious. And the pasta salsa just consists of those red bell peppers, some cashews, you can use nutritional yeast or vegan parmesan, plant milk or vegetable broth, and then a variety of seasonings and spices, which I have all the details linked in the description box. This pasta was very delicious, and I think that you will really enjoy it. Anyway, that is the last recipe for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found a recipe or meal that you plan to give a try this week. And don't forget to come back and let me know what you make. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my playlist and the other videos that I have posted as you can find a ton of inspiration there. Um, but yeah, thank you again and I'll see you next week.